to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Don't let Jericho intimidate you. Don't let Goliath intimidate you. Don't let Dagon intimidate you. They all fell down. Whether it is Dagon, whether it is Goliath, whether it is Jericho, even if it is Herod, they all fell down. The things that are written aforetime, the Bible says, they are for our learning so that we, through the comfort and the patience of Scripture, might find hope. This whole sermon tonight is the journey of my life of simple obedience to a great God. Maybe not from the background, maybe not from any human qualification. If it were by the normal sequence of life, some of us would be nowhere near the queue. But in the foolishness of obedience, take this step. Yes, sir. It is a risk. Yes, sir. I rather die with you in shame than to stand in my ego and not make progress. If it is you, I believe. How do you save the world by hanging on a tree? Do you save the world by hanging on a tree or killing Satan? Which one is more logical? The guy who caused the trouble, just kill him so that the other, all the other sinners can die then the ones that are left the babies that are born will now be righteous that would have been my strategy if i were god i would first kill satan is that not how you quarantine terrorists you carry the main trouble maker and yet god came with another strategy jesus even though you are the word you will have to obey the condition that releases the power of god not even jesus was exempted so he carried the cross. The word looked weak. But his obedience was where the power of the gospel is. And when he hung upon that cross. With blood dripping out of him. And naysayers were there. Physician heal thyself. And he hung there. In that foolishness of obedience. Is the power of the cross. Today we sing. Up from the grave he arose. With the mighty triumph o'er his foes, he arose the victor from the dark domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign. Worry, I bring you glad tidings that the word can become flesh, the word can become a job, the word can become pregnancy the word can become an estate the word can become your restoration the word can become anointing the word can become your victory the word can become your redemption but not under any condition there is a condition every time you study your bible find out the condition the condition for salvation is that without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin if jesus explained sang praise and worship will still not be saved but he hung upon that tree you laid aside your majesty gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created you took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today you reign forever and now exalted 
I really want to worship you, my Lord. You are one, my heart, and I am yours. Forever and ever, I will love you. You are the only one who died for me, gave your life to set me free. So I lift my voice to you. Listen to me. You are one obedience away from releasing the supernatural to your life. Some of you here probably are businessmen and in the midst of the recession, you've heard that when men say there is a casting down, don't just quote it. What is the condition? No evil will come near me. A thousand shall fall by my right. You are not complete. Find out. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High. That is the condition. He is the one who shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And then in that condition I will now say. Are we together? Oh, no enemy can be able to. God will bring deliverance for me. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You are my hiding place. Is that true? That you always fill me with songs of deliverance. So God delivers, but how? Sometimes you can wake up in the morning and you sense that there is an attack. And one song will come. That's not a special number. That song there is a song of deliverance. Have you, listen, have you had periods in your life where no other song may seem to make sense? You will be singing it can be one line of the song you keep singing it until that release comes that is the condition for releasing the power of god over that situation for someone you wake up and you just sense i'm hearing that all my children are sick i'm hearing that everything is happening and then the spirit of god speaks to you and says lock yourself and dance for one hour lord dance the condition to release the word every time you are in disobedience remember my example the integrity of god is waiting with your promise but waiting for your obedience so the bible says it this way having the readiness to judge every obedience every disobedience when your obedience is entire or complete hallelujah our time is up i'm going to pray there are two things we are going to do here very quickly the first thing we are going to do is to make an altar call the second thing we are going to do is to pray the third thing we are going to do is that i speak over your life I want you to believe that listen to me I believe in Jesus with all my heart not because I'm a preacher I found out among many things that he's more than just a savior he is the Word of God before he was savior he was Word. his ministry as the Word is older than his ministry as the Savior are we together you come from Africa remember respect that the Word of God it was not savior that created the heavens and the earth it was the word so even though his ministry as savior has been complete as far as redemption is concerned he's still seated where he was again he's still the word and he showed me the rider upon the white horse the bible says he had a writing that was written is that true that on his tie was written the word of god there are people here I saw so many overflows from, from the screens. There are several, there are about 12 or so, I'm told there's, there's an overflow outside here that I'm seeing right now projected. There are several other overflows. Can you imagine? When, when they show you, wave your hands where you are. Let the devil see that you are here. All the overflows, as they keep showing us those overflows, look at this. I don't know, this is, this is another one. Wave your hands. We are seeing you right where you are look at there's another one there look at what is happening my god 
There's still more again. Now hear me, my God. I thought we were done. Look at this. It means we are soon going to go to the stadium one of these days. Now hear me. Wherever you are, under the sound of my voice, listen to me. Guess what the Bible says. For God so loved the world, he gave that word, that same word that makes all things. The word came as savior and died for you. There are many people who have not satisfied the condition for the life of God. You see, eternal life is real. The life of God is real. But you can be like that, our brother. Just stand in church and say God saves and still go to hell. Or you can be like the one who took that step. The prodigal son said, how many hired servants has my father? The condition to enjoy the prosperity of his father was that he would stay under the covering and the grace. But he wanted independence. With independence came lack. With independence came degradation until he began to feed with the swine. But hallelujah, there was an opportunity for repentance. But that repentance started, the Bible never said the Holy Ghost spoke to him. He said he came to himself and said, how many hired servants does my father have? And they have enough bread to eat and I'm here, I perish with the swine. He said, I will arise. That's where it starts from. I will arise and go to my father and say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against thee. I am not worthy to be called your son. He said, take me as one of your hired servants. The Bible says, as he got up and started moving, his father too started moving. They met somewhere. He never met him at the point of his mess. And yet, he didn't, Father did not even allow him to reach home. God will always meet you somewhere at the point of your obedience. These signs shall follow. What does it mean to follow? You go ahead as a sign of faith. The signs never go before you. The signs never go with you. It is the Lord that works with you. But the signs follow. Follow means after your step. Listen, Bible history will tell us that as Moses commanded the people to go forward through dry ground, it wasn't that the river parted. Then they started moving. No. Someone had to take that step of faith as soon as their feet got there. For someone after this meeting, you may, you may obtain grace. Go and register the company. Don't wait and say, where is the money coming from? The signs follow. You sit down there and keep grumbling, you may remain poor forever. You can go and register that company. Are we together now? We're about to pray. But let me start with the altar call. I saw several overflows and I assure you by God that in every overflow, including this auditorium, and then our family watching from across the globe, Jesus is speaking to someone. Salvation is real, but there is a condition. What is the condition? The Bible says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in your mouth. That the word of faith that we preach, that if thou shalt confess with your mouth the lordship of Jesus and believe in your hearts that God raised him from the dead, he said thou shalt be saved. For with the mouth, man, uh, the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You don't assume salvation. Hallelujah. Like our father would do, I'm going to give someone tonight a chance for Jesus. You are saying, Apostle, while I heard you speak, the Holy Spirit began to tell me, no wonder the powers of witchcraft seem to still prevail over you. No wonder failure seems to repeat itself endlessly in your life. Could it be that ultimately you are looking for a temporal solution, counseling, some kind of advice and succor, whereas the permanent solution is to be translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son. Tonight is your chance. And there are two groups of people in one that I will be calling. Those who are saying, I have never met Jesus, but now I know he's my savior and he's the word of God. Please give me a chance and let me come. Category one. 
Number two, there are those who are saying, Apostle, my life is like the prodigal son. You just recited my life. I remember I was once in the fold, but for some reason I deviated and I've lived my life. My life has gone haywire. Can there be hope for me? Let's go to the Bible that there is hope for a tree, even if it be cut short. He said, at the scent of water. It is the assignment of the tree to stay at the place of water. I'm going to count one to five. And as I begin to count one to five from this place, I want you to run. Let's fill up this place. If this place is full, then wherever you are, you can stand there as I lead you to pray. I'm going to count one to five as we appreciate them. Please, you sing for me that song, Jesus, the Son of God. Are you ready? One. Two. Is someone celebrating salvation? Come to Jesus. Oh, sing it to Jesus. Leave your seat and come to Jesus. He gives you an opportunity for a new life. The word of God is powerful that is able to save to the uttermost. But the condition is that you must be ready to receive of his life. Keep clapping. Let's celebrate them as they come. All the overflows. You can walk to the front of your screen and just stand there as a sign of surrender. Oh, sing it to Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God. If you're coming out, please come quickly. Those are the overflows. Leave your seat and walk right to the stage. Leave your seat and walk right to the stage. Jesus is watching. Sing it to Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God. Oh, I believe in you. I believe in you. Now listen carefully. It is a wonderful thing to come to Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust you, how I proved you are Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for All of you who came out and for those who are following you are following from by way of television or internet from any part of the globe here is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away you are connecting watching from all across the globe here is your chance to make it right with Jesus please I like you to lift your right hand those of you who are in front everyone who has signified indicated lift your right hand high above your head and i want you to say this after me loud and clear you are saying it unto jesus hallelujah are you ready say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word that your word is yea and amen i have come as a sign of love of surrender and obedience i receive forgiveness of sin i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that from tonight you are my savior you are my lord you are my king i declare that the power of sin of satan of hell and of the grave is broken over my life from tonight i am a child of god help them please help those under the anointing In the name of jesus the bible says the gospel is the power of god unto salvation help them please 
and backward never in Jesus name keep your hands lifted let me pray for you father the Bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away these ones have come in total surrender let this be the beginning of a new season for them based on the authority of scripture I declare your sins forgiven and in the name of Jesus I call you recipients of the life of God the Lord bless you the Lord increase you in Jesus name I pray amen now here's what I want you to do for me very quickly there are counselors behind directly behind for those of you who are in front may I please request that all of you move in concert just follow the counselors they will have a word with you very quickly and you come back to your seat let's celebrate them as they go all the overflows please do as directed please do as directed hallelujah please lend me five more minutes and we're done like a symphony all in harmony we will raise you a song please stand on your feet we're about to pray it's a song of love no one I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to pray lord i am tired of this realm shift me to the realm where my results become extraordinary and supernatural go ahead and pray go ahead everyone please go ahead and pray everyone someone is praying man of god pray family people pray business people pray everyone pray 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 let it be from the depth of your heart lord i resign from natural living the natural sequence of things i soar with wings as the eagles Someone is about to contact the supernatural. The word is becoming flesh, becoming flesh in your finances, becoming flesh over your health. Becoming health over your spiritual life. Someone is praying.
Hallelujah. Let me give us one more prayer point. Father, these Egyptians I see today, supernaturally, I will see them no more forever. Please open your mouth and begin to declare. Every mountain, every dagger, every Goliath, every herald, mocking the name of the Lord, concerning my life, in the name of Jesus, be ye lifted up. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Every Egyptian in the name of Jesus, you will drown in the Red Sea. It is my season of liberty, supernatural exploits. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please listen. Please I want you to listen. I want you to listen. I want you to listen. My time is up. But I just felt stirred in my heart to just speak over sick people. You see, I believe in the healing power of Jesus. I am a testament of his healing power. We may not have the time to take testimonies tonight because of our time, but in subsequent sessions, you can have the liberty to announce. But here's what I would do. I was so happy when I saw Pastor Nat here. There is this grace that God has given this man of God, even with this chauffeur. I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for. You can stand for your children, your loved ones. Remember the centurion? He stood in for his son. He said, I will not need to come. You you don't have to come. Speak the word only. Lay your hands. When you lay your hands, if it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. I'm going to plead with Pastor Nat. He's going to blow this shofar. Ah. And from the realm of the spirit, that invisible power of the highest. Mary said, how shall these things be? You are asking apostle, is it really true that I can be healed of this blood condition? I want to speak over your body and then I'll now declare generally, please don't let the devil deceive you to say, how shall these things be? Now that you have believed the word, the power of the highest is ready to overshadow you. I like you to be sensitive. Just help those under the anointing while he's blowing this chauffeur. Name of Jesus. Be healed in the 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 name of Jesus.
Jesus. Pain, be healed in the name of Jesus. Eye condition, be healed in the name of Jesus. Bone conditions, be corrected. Haratos in the name of Jesus. High blood pressure, be healed in the name of Jesus. Diabetes, be healed in the name of Jesus. HIV, be healed in the name of Jesus. SS Genotype, we change you now in the name of Jesus. Migraine, be healed in the name of Jesus. Liver problems, be healed in the name of Jesus. Lumps, breast lumps, fibroid, you die now in the name of Jesus. Ear conditions, be healed in the name of Jesus. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever. He said, I prophesied I was, as I was commanded. And he said there was a sound. There is about to be that sound over someone's destiny. Please hear me. If it is the supernatural, all things were made by him. Something is about to be made in your life now. Please hear me. As I speak and I declare, still in this atmosphere, I want you to receive. Remember, blessed is she that believes. For some of you as you are receiving this word, that before you get home, the power of God that defines time and distance would have already been creating things in your life. Are you ready to receive? I stand upon the grace of our Father. And in the name of Jesus, anyone here, who has the proverb Ichabod written on your destiny that it is only shame and reproach right now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare may your glory begin to shine forth may the glory of your destiny begin to shine forth in the name of Jesus hear me Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. He said, For behold, I'm already doing a new thing, but behold, I decree and declare for someone the first six year, months of this year has been tragedy and pain. But let me prophesy over the next six in the name of Jesus, you will see the salvation of God. You will see the salvation of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Let me prophesy Genesis 21 verse 1. Over an, a woman here or a family that has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. The spirit of God is speaking to me. Please help those under the anointing. That you have been waiting and waiting. How shall these things be? Seeing that my womb is not working seeing that the doctor said i have this and that he said 
Genesis chapter 21 verse 1. Let this be the prophetic word for you. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. Verse 2. The Bible says, verse 2. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son even in old age at the set time which the mouth of the Lord has spoken. I speak to everyone here trusting God for the fruit of the womb by this time seven days of glory 2023 you will return with children you will return with children please help them you will return us help them please you will return with children hallelujah and he carried me in the spirit of the Lord and he took me to a valley and lo he says they were very dry and he says son of man can that business live again son of man can that marriage live again son of man can that man to return to you like Samson I prophesy to someone in the name of Jesus the son of the living God oh ye dry bones financial dry bones marital dry bones in the name of Jesus, let life enter you now. Every dry situation, receive life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There was a man who was born normal. But because of the carelessness of the midwives, they did not handle him well. And because of that, he had a situation that made him incapacitated. His name was Mephibosheth. The Bible says one time, David made a statement and said, Is there anyone in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake? I'm about to call your destiny helpers. And the Bible says that Ziba had 15 sons. And yet none of the sons of Ziba was favored. He said he should go to Laodaba. And there they fetched Mephibosheth. And he came He said you will sit and dine with me for the rest of your life. Where are the helpers of your destiny? In the name of Jesus. I call upon Ebenezer. The one who helps men. That in the name of Jesus the son of the living God. Between now and the end of this conference. I command them to appear to appear help us of destiny appear in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please help those under the anointing let me pray for every man of God here you have been frustrated in ministry you love Jesus walking in righteousness but it looks like it is not working I pray that God who helps men in the name of Jesus may he visit you every dying business here come back to life every parent here having an issue with your child maybe your child is going wayward you have prayed by the power that raised Christ from the dead the power that turned Saul to Paul. May your child be turned into a mighty man of God. Hallelujah. And finally, let me pray for you. And the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Hear me. It is a terrible thing to labor and invest and gather. And then death comes to sweep you. You see what is happening to people around that someone gets up in the morning my head my head and he just dies that death itself is supernatural it's just as a demonic one because that is not normal headache if there is anyone here the mark of death is on you while you are alive I stand by the blood of the eternal covenant I cancel it right now 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 Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. 
do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.